All right, here at the wagon home, just want to walk through real quick what we're looking at. So looking at all the trim work, and you'll see some siding on the back and sides um, of the home, but no, nothing really on the front other than a little bit up there. So on the front, we're mainly looking at the trim work around the top. So you're looking at gutters, downspouts, the peaks, so the fascia, gutter board, soffit, window trim. Um, you've got a front porch ceiling here as well that needs to be painted. Uh, and then this front door space. So the door will be going a blue color, a navy blue color. The trim will be alabaster and then the siding will be accessible beige. Um, nothing of major note here, just a wash is needed to clean up the front. So front's pretty straightforward. Uh, walk over to the right side and you've got a little bit more siding, half and half. Uh, you've got more siding up here. So on this side, you've got the siding to be prepped and painted. re really is the big thing over here. Just need to make sure the home's all sealed up. Walk around to the back side, you've got more siding. It's a full-sided back of the home. Got a chimney as well. Um, so up there, some of the uh, trim boards look like they've maybe swelled a little bit because uh, your trim is actually like an MDF compressed board. Um, just need to make sure we treat it so that it doesn't continue to swell. I don't think anything's bad up there. Um, just need to make sure it's treated properly to stop that swelling. Then you've got the back here. So pretty straightforward there. Nothing on the deck, just the um, trim and siding on the back of the home here. And then walk around to this last side. You've got a couple garage doors, a side door, which will go alabaster and then a little bit more siding up top so the colors are pretty similar not a not a uh, huge deviation from what they currently are but just want to highlight that there for you and then that's pretty much it obviously you've got some peeling along the door frames at the bottoms so just want to make sure we scrape and prime those at the bottoms there and then re everything making sure all those joints are sealed up so that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know.